Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and in today's video I will be talking all about my first semester experience studying computer science at the University of Waterloo. I saw Ali C do these types of videos where she explains her experience at university and so I was inspired by her to film this one specifically for the University of Waterloo and I think it's a great way to just think back on my experiences and hopefully I can help you guys and I can provide a little bit of insight in how my first semester went. As some of you might already know from my previous videos, I decided to stay home this semester. Um, I thought it would be a bit safer to stay home as everything is online anyways and I can spend a little bit more time with my family before I hopefully move out soon. Um, so my experience probably would have been a lot different if I was on residence. So in this video, I will specifically talk more about my courses and how I stayed organized throughout this term instead of talking more about my social life. Some of the highlights of this semester was going hiking with my family in Blue Mountain. I also spent my 18th birthday with my high school best friend, so it was really nice to see them. And I also spent a day in Waterloo, and it was really nice to see some of my friends that I met on social media in person. And we just spent a day um, going around Waterloo, studying, and honestly, I really like the city. I know a lot of people say that it's a dead city, but for me, there's everything that I need. So this video will be broken up into three different parts and I'll leave timestamps down below. Um, so first I'll be talking about my courses and how my workload for each course was like and then I'll be talking about how I stayed organized with my extracurriculars, my courses, and my part-time job before the lockdown. And thirdly, I'll be talking about how I would rank my courses from most favorite to least favorite. So if you guys want to see, you can keep watching or you can skip to whatever part you would like to know more about. I took the three mandatory courses that CS and math students, I believe, have to take. So I took Math 135, Math 137, and CS 135. Um, and for my electives, I took SBCOM 223, which is a communications course, and I also took Econ 101. The first course I'll be talking about is CS135, which is Designing Functional Programs in Racket. Um, to be honest, the language isn't very useful in the workforce, but I think that it's a great course to start off with, especially since a lot of students don't have prior programming experience. Personally, I found the course pretty fun, and some of the assignments were definitely challenging, but I think that they were manageable, especially since they gave us 10 days prior to the due date to um, get started. Um, so I'll definitely recommend if you're taking the course to get started on the assignment as soon as you can. Um, the way that I structured my time was that I would do one question per day. Some of the questions had multiple parts to it, so it was really important to manage my time so that I can get everything done on the due date. I also would say that the course was very well organized and structured. The website had everything that you need and the instructors were always there to help you on Piazza, which is our discussion forum for the course. I also would say that I spent roughly 10 to 20 hours a week on the course. This includes taking notes for the course, reading the lecture notes, um, going to office hours, and doing my assignments. So I think that 10 to 20 hours was definitely something that I spent on the course every week. Um, some assignments were definitely more challenging than others, and some concepts were harder to grasp, but overall, I really like this course. All right, so my next course is Math 135, which is Algebra for Honors Mathematics. This course was a challenge for me. I personally had no experience writing proofs in mathematics, um, especially in high school, we did not do any proofs. So it's a new concept for me, and it took me a while to get used to it. Before the midterm, I would say it was pretty easy and the concepts were easy to follow along, but after the midterm, it got really um, heavy and it went really fast. Um, in this course, I would also say that I spent roughly 10 to 20 hours a week. 
the assignments near the end of the course got harder and harder. Um, so definitely start early. I was not motivated in this course, so I would start the assignments like three days before they were due. Um, so make sure you start them early because you will definitely need the time, especially if you want a high mark because you do have to go over your work to make sure that everything makes sense. Um, but I do think that the instructors did a really good job teaching this course. Um, but yeah, I I didn't personally really enjoy this course, but it was definitely interesting to learn how I can apply math in a different way. The next course that I was talking about is Math 137, which is Calculus 1 for Honors Mathematics. This course was also pretty challenging for me. I personally spent a lot of time on this course as well. Prior to the midterm, it was a lot of new concepts. It was all about sequences and limits, which are things that we didn't spend a lot of time on in high school. But after the midterm, it got relatively easier um, because it was high school review. The assignments were only worth 1% each, so they weren't that hard, but the Mobius quizzes were definitely a challenge for me, and they were pretty stressful because as soon as you submitted one of your answers, they would tell you if it was right or wrong um, before going to the next question, and you couldn't go back, um, so that was very stressful. A lot of the questions also had multiple answers to it, so... Um, even though you got three out of four of the answers right, you would still get the whole question wrong because they didn't give part marks. Um, so that was something that I did not like. All right, so the next course I'll be talking about is Econ 101, which is intro to um, microeconomics. To be honest, I took this course because I thought it was a bird course and it was pretty easy. I spent roughly three to four hours a week on this course. That includes going over the lectures, modules, and doing my weekly quizzes. So the course overall wasn't difficult, but I personally didn't enjoy it. And the only reason why I took it was because I never took a business course in high school, so I thought maybe I'd like business courses, and it turns out I don't. Um, but it was a good learning experience just to see um, what business courses are like. Um, but overall, it wasn't a bad course. If you do enjoy business and you want to learn more about economics, definitely take it. Alright, so the fifth course I took was SBCOM 223, and this course is all about public speaking, so we spent a lot of time delivering and writing speeches. I personally really enjoyed this course, and I loved my professor. I thought that he did a really good job giving us interesting topic ideas to write about in our speeches. Um, this course was also very well structured and I liked how my professor had live Zoom meetings um, because it was pretty rare for me as all my other courses were asynchronous so I had to watch lectures on my own time so it was nice to have at least one lecture to attend to every week. I also liked listening to my classmates' speeches and seeing their perspectives on certain ideas. And I would say that I spent roughly one to five hours a week on this course, depending on if I had a speech due that week. Now that I talked a lot about my courses and how many hours I spent on each course, I will be talking more about what I did in my free time, extracurriculars, and how I managed all of my time. Since I was at home, I saved a lot of time because my parents did a lot of the cooking and cleaning, so I didn't have to spend time on that. So in my free time, I enjoyed making YouTube videos, and I also liked learning new skills on LinkedIn Learning. As Waterloo students, we get free to access to all the LinkedIn Learning videos, um, so definitely take advantage of that. I also spent my time learning new programming skills and trying to work on side projects projects. Um, and for extracurriculars, I was only a general member, so I didn't have a executive position, but I was on Women in Computer Science and Tech Plus, so I attended their events as much as I could have. 
Um, I also had a mentor this semester and he was extremely, extremely helpful. Um, I would definitely recommend people in first year to have a mentor because they do really help. Um, whenever I had questions about courses, managing time, applying to co-ops, I would always ask him and he was super helpful in giving me advice. Um, so definitely try to get a mentor. I know that if you go to Waterloo, you can get a mentor on Tech Plus. Um, you just have to fill out a form before the semester and they try to pair you up with someone that have the same interests as you. Also before the lockdown in Toronto, I was a lifeguard at a public pool near me. So I spent roughly three to five hours working a week. And I think this just shows how um, a lot of people think that CS students have no time to do anything besides school, but I definitely do not think that is true. If you organize your time well, you will definitely have spare time to spend with family, doing your side hobbies, and working on side projects. If you want to see how I organize my time more specifically, you can watch one of my videos called Day in My Life. I'll link it right here. Um, so you can watch that to see how I organize my time with my physical planner more in depth. I also really um, enjoyed having my iPad this semester because it saved me so much time. I also have a video about that, so I'll link it right here as well. Um, so my iPad and my planner saved me a lot of time and helped me stay organized. So now I will be ranking my courses. Before I do that though, I just want to say that this is all my personal experience. So people with different experiences will have different outcomes. Um, so just keep that in mind as I rank them. So my first most favorite course this semester was probably my computer science course, CS135. It was a very well-structured course and I really enjoyed how they taught it. Um, number two will probably be my communications course. I really liked having a break from math and computer science courses and this was a great way to just read an article or um, write a speech about something that I like. Um, number three is probably going to be my math 135 course. Although it was really challenging for me, I think it gave me a new perspective about math. And then number four will probably be my elective course, which is Econ 101. Um, this course was not difficult or anything, but it just wasn't my favorite because I didn't have a lot of interest in. And then number five is gonna be my Math 137 course, just because I didn't really like how this course was structured, but again, that's my personal experience. That wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed and gained a little bit perspective into my life as a CS student at the University of Waterloo. I overall really enjoyed the program and I'm really happy I made that decision to study CS. Um, I also really like the people I met at this university. They are so hardworking and they are so kind and so smart. But yeah, I, I do hope that this video helped you guys. It definitely is something that I really enjoyed making because I can reflect back on my experience and see what worked well for me. And hopefully I can continue that on future semesters. I do hope to create one video like this every semester. Um, so we'll see how I grow throughout the next four to five years. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Bye!